Okay, hey guys, how's it going? Chessy Bus, I can't even talk. Chessy Bus, Steli, Mate in 47, Megt, how's it going? Good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Okay, so I'm playing a match with Grandmaster John Ludwig Hammer. Chess 960, two hours of Chess 960 at a time control of two minutes with a two second increment. How's the audio sound, guys? I had to do an emergency audio situation because I streamed last night and the audio was not good for some reason using my normal microphone, which is uh, this guy right here. This very nice Rode microphone, but for some reason, I don't know if it's a setting I have, but uh, it was not cooperating the last 24 hours. So I'm actually using my webcam audio right now, which is typically not good, but is now better than this Rode microphone audio. So, all right, that's good to know that you guys think it's all right. So we're gonna get started here any moment. John Ludwig is waiting. Again, this is chess 960. It's not traditional chess. How's it going, Mason Blue? Shout out to you. Well, if you have to leave, this will be auto archive so you can watch it later. So let me give John Ludwig the go ahead. And we will get ready to go here. And Made in 47 donated $25. Great to see you on Twitch. Have been enjoying your channel for years. Thank you, Made in 47. Really appreciate that. And I appreciate you following me to Twitch from YouTube. Thanks a ton. All right. I'm going to accept John Ludwig's challenge. There we go. Let's get this underway. And I'm white in the first game. All right, so the challenge of 960 is getting oriented in that very first game. Um, okay, so the bishops are in unusual spots right in the center. Hmm. Let's make a developing move with the knight. I'm just going to try to bring this closer to the center. And John Ludwig, I'm sure, is getting his bearings as well. You don't have a lot of time to think at the start. You know, I thought for 15 seconds there, and <laughs> that's a significant portion of your time. Okay. Um, hmm. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring this out. Let's play a Dutch defense. D4, F5. Yeah, 720p is the only option because I'm not a Twitch partner yet, so I can't change the resolution for you guys. If I set the resolution too high at 1080, there were quite a few people who weren't able to watch depending upon their connection and what device they're using. So 720, I think, is the best solution for now. But I will be a partner soon, so you'll have the ability to change that shortly. Okay, let's get this knight into the game. Maybe I can harass this bishop. So castling short would be... An extremely short castle in this situation. Um, this bishop's kind of annoying. I'm tempted to get rid of it, but first I might need to make a stabilizing move like c3. Now, let's go e3. I'm going to offer a trade of the bishops. I have a feeling this first minute, if we stick with this time control, is going to go by so fast. You can see that we're already almost under a minute each. You can play queen c4 and attack this pawn. But I'm just going to play c3 against that. How to get the queen into the action, I think, is going to be a key question here. Um, let's actually play g4. I'm going to open it up, see if I can get him to take. I mean, that's aggressive opening the g file, but seems justified. Maybe I can get a knight f4 into e6 idea going. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> He's ready to castle now. I'm going to go here. I wouldn't be surprised if he castled short. I'm thinking about launching a pawn storm. His pieces are a bit far back here. Okay, knight into c4.
just going to play a stabilizing move. He does castle. Okay. Let's go with this Pawn Storm. Play is picking up speed here. Let's do this. I know he can go e4 and try to win my b2 pawn, but I'm going to let him do that and play for the attack. He says no. Okay, let's push that guy. Mm, I really want to trade this knight. This knight is annoying. Let's try to get rid of him. Go here. Hoping he blunders queen d5 at some stage. Only two second increment. Let's go here. F4. John Biggest Don. Thank you for the $26 donation. Cheering me on to become a grandmaster. Thank you so much. I'm going to be doing my best on that front coming up. The grandmaster front. Okay, let's jump in here. I'm thinking about going after this. This is pretty risky and greedy, but I'm going to go for it. Maybe knight back to a5. My king is wide open. I can still castle, though. I can still castle short if needed. And he's got 12 seconds left only. Let's take this first game, guys. Let's do this. This would be getting off on the right foot immediately. Let's castle now. Oh, no. I, I forgot to put the king on top of the rook. That was a big mistake. <laughs> All right. I got to give up the knight now. Ah. Uh. <laughs> We're going to chalk that one up to just learning. There's a learning curve, right? I mean, we're still in this game. I have two pawns for the piece. I can still come back. Knight b4 looks like a good move. Yeah, I just castled him properly there. Get out of here, knight. I can take h5. Hmm. Yeah, this is real bad news for me. Okay, I'm going to give him that pawn. Try to get some sort of counterplay. And it's probably just not going to work. Yeah, I'm running out of counterplay here. That was a rookie mistake. Okay, this is almost resigns time. I'm going to give this one up. He's got g7 protected. Not much I can do there. Yeah, so king g1, of course, is a nonsensical move. So what did I do? I put the king on g1. I got to put the king on top of the rook if I want to castle. Yeah. Although, actually, he would still have c6. It would be better than the game, but he still has that c6 move. So, all right. John Ludwig takes the first game, but many games to come. Thanks, why do you ask me? Appreciate it. Chess Kid, the format of the match is just two hours of two plus two. And you can see the score here and here. Um, I'm thinking about opening this bishop. I think I will. Yeah, let's get this bishop into the action, threatening b2. I have half a mind to do this, or maybe maybe c5. Yeah, let's go with c5. Why not attack that pawn on d4? That last game was going well. I think the beginning of it was pretty nice. Okay, c3. Probably take this now. And it looks like I can develop some nice pressure here. Queen b6 or knight c6? Let's go with queen b6. 
this king, this king could be exposed. He's already pushed the pawns in front of it. So maybe I can launch a lightning attack on these two pawns. He does have knight b3, covers both, but I'm thinking knight c6 then. So he might have got too ambitious by pushing these central guys too quick. Yannick, hopefully soon. I would love to get those norms soon. That would be great. But, you know, it'll, it'll be a process, just like anything else. Can I take this? I don't see why not. Let's do it. And then I'm going to develop maybe some knight b4 plans. Oh no, did I just get that trapped? Queen is trapped. All right, got to sack it and go take this <clears throat> and hope for the best. I'm hitting this, I'm hitting this. Material-wise, I may not come out so bad out of this. Okay, d6 looks decent. Rook f2, such an odd queen trap, right? Like you don't expect to see that in normal chess. Let's get this into the game. Kind of worried he can jump to one of these squares. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, rook c8, got to cover this guy. Now, I definitely want to get my king castle, but I need to solve this bishop, just like he needs to solve his light square bishop. Yes, yeah, so he's going to take steps to do that. Let's go here. He can take on a7 if he wants. Maybe he's thinking about that. Let's just go here. About a minute each. Hey, Anna Hollowell, good to see you. Hmm. Let's play an aggressive move. Uh, no, we'll stay solid. Okay, so for the queen, I have some stuff. Maybe not enough, but some compensation. I mean, actually, material-wise, it's not so bad. D5, I'm thinking about. Yeah, let's play D5. I still want to get castled, but my bishop is loose. Okay, let's go here. I know I'm inviting his knight in, but really want to get castled. Just remember, king on top of rook. Okay, can I do it now? I can also take on a2, but I think I want to castle. Yeah, let's castle short. I can play knight takes e6, but I was thinking I might have knight b4 in this case. Let's try it. I hope he blunders this. That would be great. Nope, he doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, gotta go here. Okay, now material-wise, I'm just hurting. When he takes on b4, I think I'm gonna play f5. Block this bishop out. Go for some Hail Mary, Mary counterplay against this king. Let's go here. He can play bishop f1 is probably a good move. He does find it. <clears throat> so this is this is definitely losing. Try to get in a check. Doesn't change the evaluation much. But it's some counterplay. There's some lag going on here. Not sure which one of us is lagging. Can come into this square. That's not looking good. Hmm. 
yeah, I'm going to resign that. Okay, so he jumps out to a 2-0 lead. So that was a clever queen trap by him in the opening. I took on b2, and then he slammed the door with knight b3. So defending the rook in the corner. And this is just a, would be an exceedingly rare queen trap in a regular game. So I think that's why it wasn't on my radar, the fact that rook f2 is even possible here. And the flight squares for the queen are taken away. Yeah, can't go anywhere. Let's get that rematch. Down 0-2 right at the start. Hey, Saxy90, got to fight back here. I think again I should open this. Open the bishop. I will. I will distant fire. I will bounce back. Don't you worry. I like that plan. I'm going to play d4 as well. So the king and the queen are on the original starting squares here. I owned. I'm doing great. I hope you are as well. And there's not a set number of games. We're just going to play for two hours. However many games we can get in, in two hours. Okay. Let's bring this knight out closer to the center. And he could do the same if he wants. I'll play like a London system. Maybe rook over here. Get ready for c4 plans. Yeah, think about pushing this guy. Maybe knight in. Just to put some pressure here. Also, if this, I want to be able to play b3. Knight b2 would not trap my queen because I would have queen d2. Although it looks precarious. That's not a queen trap. Maybe now I can play b3 next and try to restrict this knight. Yeah, it is cool that you guys can follow both of us at the same time. So he's going to do that anyways. I uh, hope I'm not missing something. I don't think I am as far as the queen trap goes. But yeah, if knight b2, I can just go here. Should be fine. So he goes back. Let's bring this out. And he's going to stop me from castling. Understandable. But I think my, my king feels okay on e1. The position is quite closed. So no harm, no foul. I think playing faster could be uh, an area of improvement for both of us here. <laughs> So c5, I can't take that because he gets a fork in at the end. Hmm, let's go here. I'm going to see if I can respond in kind. And if he takes, I'll take with the knight, and then I'm in striking distance of c6. Barney, thanks for the $20. That might actually be my dad, guys. My dad's name is Barney, and I think he's watching. So thank you, dad. I love you. <laughs> Okay, knight there. Um, yeah, let's go here. Gotta watch the c3 square, but I want to get rid of this knight. And I'd love to outpost this knight. And again, come into c6. I think that's literally my dad, guys. I just told him about Twitch the other day. So he's doing his uh, fatherly diligence and watching his son in a chess 960 battle. <laughs> okay, let's go knight d2. Just really want to get rid of this piece, basically. And this bishop is buried. I mean, that should bode well for me. Try to use this square. Okay, let's jump in.
go here. Just want to protect this C4 point. He's in time pressure. We got to strike back here, guys. I need this one. Attack. Okay, let's keep attacking. Keep pushing. E6, I'm looking for. Go here. Hmm. Let's take that. Mm. Go here. I know he can take the pawn. But I feel like I should have a good attacking position right now. Good attacking chances. Hmm. Hammer going all in. Let's give this check. Oh, F2 was hanging. Could have taken that. Mm. Okay, I'll take. There's some definite lag going on right now. F4. Trying to win E4. Does have knight c2, but I think I had something against that. Take. Dive in here. Can take with check. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Attacking with my rooks. I should be able to escape here. Should be able to. He's trying to set up a perpetual net. But I think... I don't know, actually. I think we should have him. Setting up these. That should do it. Okay, and I won. Yeah, a lot of lag going on there at the end. But I do get to one win. Okay, let's offer the rematch right away. Try to capitalize. I think I had a good position in the middle game there with that strong knight on c6. That was looking good. The comeback is real. It's time, guys. Okay, g3, he opens the position for his bishop. I'm going to do the same. Queen here or queen here would be funny because there would be mate threatened on b2 and b7. He plays d4, all right. Maybe f5. Yeah, let's clamp the e4 square, open this bishop as well. Towards the king. Mm, I'm going to go... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to play d5. Just a bit worried about this and this with pressure on b7. And Stockfish donated $2. Said, sorry, I can't be more, John. No, that's plenty, man. Thank you. Thanks so much for the support. Okay. Let's get this knight going. We're at 140 viewers. 
That's pretty good considering it is the middle of the day U.S. time. People are at work or at school. There's like some light shining on my face. I'm going to have to fix that after this game. Okay, knight e5. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Knight c5, aggressive from Mr. Hammer. Maybe knight e4 right now. Yeah, that looks decent. I got d7 covered twice, so he can't fork me. But knight e4 looks smart. Try to get rid of this knight. He's going to pivot. We got some maneuvering going on. Let's send this one in. Right? Now, he could give me double isolated pawns. He takes here and then takes here. But I feel that should be okay for me. Let's go here. Hmm. This is such a strategic 960 game. Drop this back. Mm hmm. I'm going to take. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That knight is almost getting trapped. Let's go here. Because now my bishops are not looking good, unfortunately. Bishops got shut out. All right. I'm going to take some liberties to try to open the position. 27 seconds. Okay, let's take. Stabilize. Let's go b6. I want to keep this knight out of c5 if I can. Oh, I thought this was a rook for a second. I thought I was attacking his bishop. That is not the case. Yeah, these, these bishops are awful. I need to get them actually doing something. Um, okay, let's go here. Don't know what to play. Could send this queen out here. I'm gonna develop my queen over here. Let's try to do this. Is he gonna take some sort of sacrifice around my king? He certainly could try. That's a pre-move I'm attempting right there. Hmm, this could be trouble if he comes at my king. Check and then queen a4. Maybe I can survive? We'll find out. Okay, now his bishop's under attack. It's important. You should probably just move it to F2. He will. I need to get my queen back in the action. Uh, okay. Oh, that's just mate in two. Check and then mate. Let's let him do it. Ah, bummer. That was a tricky position there at the end. I think I actually just have to take his knight take on b4, but these pieces are still quite far from being able to participate. Okay, I gotta, I gotta fix these windows. One second, guys. Fix my blinds. That should be better. Yeah, the pre-move quirk, Kirkwood Chess. That's a thing I've noticed on chess.com. <clears throat> That happened in my video for the Chess 960 Championship about a month ago. Okay.
Let's get the next game going. So he's decisively leading so far, but all games have been fighting. Um, this one. Try to put the bishop here. He's probably going to try to counter and immediately set up a trade. Let's go e3, actually. Yeah, e3. So, so far, he's been doing a better job of coordinating his pieces than me. I need to fix that. I also like having the pawn up here. So if I play knight f3, it's not hindering the f-pawn. He's going to break in the center. All right. Let's take that. Develop. I wouldn't be surprised to see this bishop come out here sometime soon. Hmm. I think I'm going to castle queenside. Yeah, let's do that. If he plays knight e4, he's threatening knight f2. I got to keep that in mind. Probably queen g1. So at least I have my rook centralized now. Thank you, AMA guy. Appreciate that. Okay. Probably should come here, just so if he plays queen a3, the pawn is guarded. Hey, Jake Carpenter. You were tuning in last night as well. Okay, now how to push back against his uh, central presence here. Let's first try to get this bishop doing something nice. Try to put this on g2 next. Hmm, maybe knight d4 now is interesting. Knight d4, we get some trades. Eh. No, let's go here first. Ooh, queen a3, knight b4. Got to watch that. Yeah, now I got to play c3, I think, to stop it. I'm a little worried about a5, a4, <clears throat> but I think I can always play b4 after that. So my next move, I think, will be here. But he's going to go on the initiative first. Okay, so I'm going to do that anyways. Ah, wondering knight f2. He's got this fork. Well, we'll see. Maybe some compensation. He didn't notice, or he didn't go for it. Okay, he just castles. Let's go here. He can't take because I trap his queen. I'm trying to get ready for d3. Do that. Hmm. Get the queen active. Both low on time now. Ah, you can just take that. All right, well, let's do that. 
see what happens. Yikes, this is bad. Not much I can do about that. Got to play something, but he just takes it. Yeah. Mm. So when he throws the A-pawn down the board, goes A4, it didn't click for me that queen takes A2 is actually a threat now. Because if I play, play my rook over, he can take on B3 with check. So that was a significant threat. Yeah, and I'm just lost after this. It's too hard to guard B2, especially with my rook being undefended. Like, I can't play rook D2 here, he just takes. Okay, next game. We need the comeback, guys. It's early in the match. We still got, you know, an hour and a half to go. But I, I don't want to put myself in too big of a hole too early on. B4, so that stops my bishop from getting into the game. Seems like a smart move. Let's copy him. You get into this a lot in 960 where you just kind of start copying your opponent at the outset. <clears throat> And a4. Aggressive. Mm, okay, I'll reinforce. Thanks, Domo. I'm glad you guys believe. Need the fire emojis. There are still lots of chances ahead. Let's play faster, confident, keep the pressure. John Ludwig, by the way, he's been as high as, I think, 2,700 feet. Eight. He either hit 2,700 or very close to it. So he is an excellent player. Contemporary of Magnus Carlsen, those guys kind of grew up together. Hmm. Maybe f5. It's a nifty move. Get the bishop guarding this. If he takes, I'll probably take it with a pawn. Place f4. Mm hmm. Go d6. I want to prepare this move so that my rook is defending that bishop and I can maybe threaten g6. I think I have a good position here. I mean, optically, looks good. Let's take. He's trying to get ready for g3. So this, and I'm going to do the same. So now g6 is a possibility. He castles. Okay, I think I like knight out. Get ready to open the position. Maybe g5 even. Yeah, g5. He'll probably move his queen now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put this here. I'm thinking about maybe doing a rook swing. Play for the attack. He's got to be careful, because if knight f2, I can actually take here right away. It'd be tough for him to defend. Might have to do something real awkward. Yeah, like that. Hmm. Okay, so let's still do this. Attack. 
getting ready for d3. Hmm. I want to push my g-pawn. Get this up here. Let's take. Let's give it a check. Strange stuff. Yeah, that's a good plan by him. Still have a very nice time edge right now. Need to capitalize. Hmm. Looking for e5. I know my rook is looking extremely precariously placed over here. Yeah, he's going for g4. Some sort of g4. Um. Yikes. Okay, let's take... What in the world is happening here? Let's threaten h3. I'm trying my best to coordinate. It's looking like I will succeed in coordinating. My rook is still out of the game, though. <clears throat> I'm going to decline the trade for that reason. And try to get my bishop out. Can I take? Not yet. Yeah, his king is in a rough spot. But how to do this? And he's more or less just going to wait. Need to attack some other target or trade a pair of rooks, I think. Yeah, let's trade a pair of rooks. I wasn't seeing how to do it any other way. Hmm. That should be winning, right? I hope. Yeah, I think this is winning. So I'm going to win his pawn. Give a check now. Now I can come around. Okay, that was a tense game. But I'm going to get the victory. Very strange situation with that rook trapped on the side of the board for several moves. I mean, I, I went aggressive by putting it on h5 because I felt like I could use it to attack his king. And, you know, that buried my bishop on h8 in the process. But with his time situation, he didn't have much of a chance to react. And I think e5 was a surprise for him, this plan of moving the bishop back and playing e5. I don't think he saw that coming. It did just get a little strange after this with the pawn coming up to f6. And the true Austrian GM soldier donated $1. Please come to Austria one day so I can challenge you. You are the best chess streamer.
Austria is a cool country. I was there one time in Graz. Yeah, very nice country. Okay, this is the start of the comeback, guys. Distant fire, bringing the fire emojis. Love it. Okay. Um, let's go F4 in this one. Get this dark square bishop opened. Yeah, Graz is a nice city. I was a coach at the 2002 World Youth Championships in Slovenia. So that's how I ended up checking out Graz. An E5. E5. Uh-huh. Okay, F5. Try to cramp him. Keep this knight out of the G6 square. And John Lovett, he, li he likes his center pawns. He's going right for it. Okay, let's play e4 and take with the queen if he captures. I know he can develop his knight to d6 in that case with tempo, but maybe my queen can do some damage out there. Hey, today, 444. Okay, there. We got a potential structural battle coming up. Let's take that. And I'll offer a trade of the light square bishops. Maybe I can swing my rook up and tack in this way. Plays a solid move. Okay. Just get this out. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me push this pawn. The stage of the game is critical. It's move eight and I have a minute two. You just gotta play faster. That's unacceptable. Yeah, I'm still going with the lumberjack look for today. You guys liked it so much last night. <laughs> yeah, I was a coach there, Wandering Winder. I'm 31 years old. I'm no spring chicken. Let's get this out. Gotta watch D2 just in case he jumps in somehow. Um, now he's almost ready to castle, so maybe queen in. This looks like fun. If he takes, take, take, I have knight a5 at the end. Knight a5 is actually a big threat here. Hmm. Knight a5 or knight c5 almost work. Almost. Mm, let's try this. This king is somewhat stuck here. Probably should play one of these moves. And I think he's all right. Well, okay, let's find out. Expecting this. Ah, uh, I thought I had this move, but he can just take, actually, if I do that. Okay, so let's open this. If he pushes, I'll play rook here, here. E3 or F4. Uh, let's go here. You can take f5 now, but should be about equal after all is said and done. I think I can take that. Hmm. 
just going to try to attack my weak pawns. Mm, okay. Try to get some counterplay in the center. This knight coming in. I am keeping his king out, so that's helpful. I can just take it. Bummer. Mm, now that knight is going to be trapped. That's really bad. Don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, I could get out via d6, of course. Yeah, that was just a really bad decision. B4, I didn't see that I could do this, but now I'm down two pawns. This should be losing. I'll try to blockade it. Maybe use my king somehow. But if he just keeps me out, he should be good here. Hmm. Okay, well, at least my king is centralized now. I mean, I don't know how much that's going to help me, per se. But I'll try. Mm, he's eliminating all the pawns. No risk now for him. So if I can just win that last pawn, I'm good, but that's not going to be easy to do. Yeah, that might be just losing now. He's coming into C2. Mmm, nicely played. Yeah, that's over. So I had some chances in the opening. I think when my queen was on A6, after queen B7, feels like there should be some way to prosecute this attack, but I didn't find it. Maybe I should just back off the queen. Maybe queen D3, hitting the knight on D6. And then I can still play A6. I keep the tension. I traded down. Problem here is I can't take on b6 because my rook is hanging. So I traded down and then played d4. Originally I thought I could play this move, but then I realized he can just take on f5. I was thinking if bishop here I have this, take and then go win the knight. But yeah, the problem is he can just take on f5 with either knight. All right. Yeah, hammer is good. That's an understatement. <laughs> And his stream is featured? That's cool. Good stuff. Yeah, they're going to feature it on the Twitch carousel. Alright, d4. It's nothing too much. d5. And c4. Little gambit action. Alright, I'll take that, Mr. Hammer. Just because I can get my knight here, hopefully. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing that can happen. Brutal. Okay, got to give up the exchange. Free move castles. That's why he played c4. Okay, but at least I get a pawn for it. He's not going to take it yet. He knows. Let's get this out. Maybe take aim against g2. Those sneaky bishops on b1, man. Hmm. Okay, develop. Could also take on g6, but I think he'll take the exchange. Or play d5 first. Oh no! <laughs> 
That's a bug right there. Or it seems like one, because I was pre-moving a capture, but it had me as pre-move castles. <laughs> oh, see, now I'm just down a piece. I'm going to resign this one. <laughs> Everything went wrong in that game. Didn't notice the sneaky bishop takes h7. And then, yeah, I was speculating that he might take on g6. And I was just trying to pre-move king takes g8 in case he takes the rook. But chess.com re registered it as castling. Because I guess there's two pre-moves there. Takes and castles. But they count it as castles. <laughs> okay. Hey, it happens. It happens. That's a clippable moment, though. All right. So... Hmm. Let me go here. Chess.com is giving me a prompt to, quote, learn more rules about 960. <laughs> it's trying to tell me something. Okay, is H2 protected? H2 is protected. All right, good. <laughs> Let's get the bishop out. You guys having fun? I'm having fun, even though I'm trailing in this match. This is a good time. All right, e3. Prevent this knight from going anywhere. And I think I, I too will play my knight here soon. Maybe knight f3 first. Yeah, let's go knight f3. I have a, a Larson-like setup right here. Yeah, I'm gun shy. I'm trying to overprotect h2. That's right. If he plays bishop g4, I can play h3. Kick him away, and he can't play bishop h5, so I have g4. F6. All right, let's develop. This would be long queenside castling. That's as long as you can get. If I move my queen to my bishop, I could castle queenside. And h5. Aggressive. Aggressive young hammer. He's trying to run my knight out of town. But let's stop him. Only downside is now he can play this move. All right, maybe c4 now. Looks decent. e4 I can take and then trade queens. He won't win my knight. Hammer new. Yeah, got to watch out for him. He seems to know all of the dirty tricks. Hmm. Yeah, he's cramping me a lot here. Let's close this down. I think I'm going to try to get my bishop back in the game this way. Mm. Yeah, let's go 92. Offer a little trade. Oh, nice. Welcome to the new viewers. We're playing a chess 960 match. So this isn't standard chess with the normal starting position. The pieces on the back row are scrambled for both sides. That's how it works. Okay, so he's trying to block e 5 But I think I should take this anyways. And I really want to get out of that pin. Let's go here. Pretty move this capture. But other than the pieces starting scrambled on the back row, all the standard chess rules apply. En passant, you can still castle, all that good stuff. I want to do the long castles, guys. I want to castle queen side here. I think I think Hammer might do the same, actually. Dun, dun, dun. 
Longest queenside castling achieved. <laughs> okay, I didn't see this maneuver that he's doing. This is a good maneuver. But maybe now I break in the center. Or I will think about it. Let's go here first. He's retaining the option of f5. That's really annoying. Hmm. Okay, I'm still going to do it. And I'm going to do something pretty radical here, guys. Try to open the position. Get this bishop active. We're both getting low on time. Seems like a decent play. Um, unless I get mated. If I get mated, it's not a good play. Uh, A4 was pretty weakening, too. I don't know about that move. Oh, man. Got to get rid of this knight. This knight is just killing me right here. Oh, rook in here. This is nasty. Oh, queen takes b3. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Let's resign that. <laughs> well, I thought my d4 move might give me some counterplay, but yeah, he just kept the knight there. I wasn't able to evict it. I mean, maybe if I could play bishop takes f5, I would have a chance, but yeah, queen d3, queen a5. a4 was just, that was the death of me right there after that move. I think I can play king b1, so if he goes here, I take on c3, but it's still looking pretty bad. He has attacking resources like rook coming over to a6. Yeah, not good. Okay, so what am I down? I'm down 7 to 2. Yeah, he is number 2 in Norway for a very good reason. It's a good point. I still believe we can still mount a comeback. Just got to get on a roll. The second half of the match still to be played. Is he there? Is he lagging out? E4. Okay. Let's open this up. Thank you. Glad you guys still believe in me. Going to centralize. <clears throat> Let's get this out. Maybe C5 next. Yeah, let's play C5. So I suspect he's going to play B3 very soon. No, F4 first. Okay. Maybe I should castle short, but I feel like I feel like I need to solve this queen issue first. Hmm. Let's go B4. Make a little progress on the queen side. Clearly, I'm not going to be castling queen side here. Let's go here. I had my fun with the big switch castling queen side the last game. But probably going to be going king side since I haven't disturbed any of these pawns. Yeah, I went to UT Dallas. That's my alma mater. Okay, get this bishop out. Maybe G6 coming up. Hmm, annoying move right there. 
Got to defend that pawn. He's pivoting. Let's go here. Thinking about maybe this. Weird development for the queen, but seems okay. Hmm. Let's take here first. Push this pawn. Go here. This bishop is buried, so that, that seems nice for me. That it's harder for him to attack. Um, I'm going to castle now. Strange decision, but I think decent. Get out of the pin. I wasn't seeing the g-file really amounting to much. I mean, maybe I could have played g6, I don't know. Okay, let's take and jump in. Time pressure for hammer. I'm going to go d5. He's trying some bishop d2 business. Got to play d5, open it up. Certainly, if I can take with a bishop, I'd love to do that. I think that would almost win on the spot. Knight e2. Amazing, after knight e2, he's surviving somehow, but... Just barely. Okay, let's just take. Go here. Hmm. <clears throat> let's go here, prop up knight f3. Can land that, that's nice. Just take that guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. Trying to trap my knight. I don't want him to trap my knight. I'm trying to get my pawn up to h2. Not sure about that check by him. Because now I can block on e5. Always. Okay. So should have good chances now. Okay, let's get this back. Push this. Hmm. I just want to take and then run my, my other pawn down the board. So he's not going to allow that. But this should be winning. If I can just push my g-pawn. Should be too much. Because now g2 is coming. There's very little he can do about it. Is 
Yeah, and I'm going to queen that pawn. Okay, so we get one back. Felt like I should have had an easier win after I got my knight to f3 and just straight up won the bishop. But, you know, it's a mutual time pressure situation. Uh, I see now maybe this would have been a nice shot. Bishop takes h2. Yeah, because I was trying to figure out how I could land my queen on f3, but that's a nice deflection move. If he takes, you get this very nice e paulette mate. So they call it when the king can't retreat. Blocked by pieces like that, usually rooks. So that would have been a nice way to play it. Would have brought it to a more swift conclusion. Okay. So three to seven, still in this. Got to string together wins, though. Okay, let's just go e4. Yeah, metaphysics. I kind of do get to play chess as a job. I mostly teach, but... I do stuff like this as well. Okay, c5. Sicilian. Let's play f3. Some possible pressure. I agree. Get the knight out. Let's play this. I'm going to advance in the center. Try to get my bishop working. And then maybe queen d2 and castle queen side, I'm thinking. Okay, knight out. He says, I don't want to deal with the tension yet. Okay, maybe queen d2 now. c4 is guarded by the bishop. So I don't have to worry about knight c4. Also, queen a5 could be irritating for him. Park my queen there, attack the a-pawn, pin the knight. So there's about 45 minutes left in this match. I've got some ground to make up. c4. Yeah, let's play this move, just because we'll give him something to think about with the A-pawn. He might have to play rook A8. And maybe I can uh, parlay that into some, some counterplay. But he says, go ahead and take it. He's probably going to play queen C7 if I take it. All right. So maybe I castle queen side now. Yeah, let's do that. I like that because the rook gets lined up with the king immediately. This is a bad piece, but hopefully I can play c3 and then knight to c2, get it into the game that way. All right, let's do it. If he checks, I can just block with the bishop. Maybe he'll do some bishop d6 business, whereupon I could close the position, play e5. This might be a plan. I, mean, I just hope that my queen doesn't get off sides over here, because by playing c3, I've cut it off from ever retreating. Oh, thanks, Tian Roses. Good to see you here. We have over a 1,000 viewers right now. The front page of Twitch, wow. My streamer hammers. Either one is good. Okay, Hammer's really down on time. That's going to force a queen trade. Now he's going to try to attack me with his queenside pawns, b5 and such. Hmm. Let's go here. And then I'm going to jump into f5. Because this knight could be a problem for him getting rid of. I'm trying to get rid of it. g3, maybe this now? He's just going to try to trade stuff. Makes sense. Hmm. Okay, 
Okay, let's bring this knight in. He probably has to play f6. And I'd like to make way for my pawn to come up. It's going to go there instead. Okay. Let's bring this back here. Maybe f4 now. f4 could be a sneaky idea. Threaten knight take c4. Yeah, I'm going to win a pawn now. He's just so far on, down on time. This is rough for him. Just this now. Let's go here. I don't want to release the tension yet. Maybe h3, bishop h2. I can try to play. Okay, let's bring that up. Big chance to score here, guys. Hmm. Okay, now I'm experiencing a little time pressure. But still... Great position, good chances. Guard that. I mean, for the moment, he set up a blockade, but I can try to take this down. All right, making some progress. Trying to push over here. How am I going to infiltrate? It's just being solid for now. The solid hammer. Let's first of all just improve our pieces to the maximum. 96. Interesting, but probably not working yet. Let's wait. Hmm. Trying to find some way to, I don't know, put him in like a Zugzwang type thing. Okay, this now, I guess. Ooh, and I won on time. I got in. I was going to win the H-pawn. Okay, so kept up the constant pressure. He got in time pressure very early in that game. I like what happened there. By the time he played, what was it, like A6 or something? He was already experiencing pretty serious time pressure. Was it that early? Move 8? I just remember his clock getting low there. So we got the end game victory. Yeah, it was tough because, I mean, he's got weaknesses here and here, and I have an extra pawn, but the position is quite closed. So I was trying to play Capablanca style on both wings, attack on both areas of the board. That's typically how you want to win a position with a slight material advantage, like one pawn. You may not be able to just focus on the area of the board where that one pawn is, like where you have the majority. You might have to switch your focus at some stage to another area of the board too. Next game, four to seven. Yeah, dirty flagger. That's right, Eric. <laughs> but I think I was winning there at the end. I was winning h6, and then my h-pawn was going to be a big problem for him. Okay, e4. This position looks similar to one we've had before. So I'm going to play in Sicilian style. Gets his knight out. All right. We're going to play a hyper-accelerated dragon. Get the bishop out. Just maybe play b5 as well. And one thing I got to work on in 960 is using my pawns better. 
I feel like sometimes I put my pieces on superficially active positions, but then I regret not having moved the pawns forward. That's been a thing I've noticed in some of these games. Yeah, we can still make this comeback, guys. I appreciate the support. I know we can do it. Okay, let's cramp him. Hmm. Taking action in the center. Okay. Take, and then I'm going to jump this knight into c4, I think. Hopefully he doesn't notice this. I think he will, though. Oh, he could just castle here, actually. Castling would be strong. Or maybe not. I mean, my bishop and my rook are coordinating here. And my knight is defending against checkmate. That's important. So actually, castling may not be good in view of the half-open C file. So he's just going to defend against the threat. Uh-huh. Hmm, maybe queen v6 now? Yeah, get the queen up and into the action. Try to create some threats. Because now this bishop on g1 is undefended, so if he plays knight takes c4, I can take here. Gets his knight involved. Let's go here. Try to tickle, as Danny would say. Oh, thanks, Ashton. Glad you liked that video about my, um, you say old chessboard. I think you mean my computer program that I used in the late 90s. Okay, he's under a minute. I've been doing well when I get hammer and time pressure. I mean, go figure. So I'm hitting this pawn. He's probably trying to figure out how to defend it or if he wants to just give it away. Really? So if I take, what's your plan? There's no mates I got to worry about. I mean, knight takes b2. It looks like it's just on the way. All right. Got to take risks if you want to win, especially when you're down four to seven. But I don't see why I can't capture that and threaten knight takes b2. Maybe he'll just play king e1. It's possible. He takes, okay. Hmm. Let's take with the pawn. I think I believe he's thinking about some knight b5 business. Let's give him a chance to blunder. No, do I want to do that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do it. He can take and then take a7 is the only thing. But that might be a decent endgame for me with my c4 pawn. Queen b6 would be a cool move, but it doesn't work. I have rook c7 at the end. Yeah, he's just going to go for this line. Um, now, important, can I castle quickly? It doesn't look like it. I could check, but now I'm going to take. Just take. And then let's play d6. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hate doing this, but I think I have to. Take the file. These bishops are just so bad now. I need to get them out. Oh no, he can play g5. Oh. And this bishop is never getting out. Oh, man. I don't know, though. We'll find out. Maybe I can get some counterplay. Let's go here. OK. 
Okay, it's blockade like that. Oh, I had bishop takes e5. That was a big miss by me. Yikes. Okay, take. Bishop takes e5 would have been huge there. Missed that opportunity. Okay, I'm going to sack this, try to get some, some king activity going. But playing without a bishop, it's not looking promising. Let's take. Okay, at least now my bishop can try to get back in the game, though. Like this. All right. That actually worked out probably as best as it's going to work out. Let's check. Hmm. All right, got to give up that g-pawn, I guess. Try to push this. Hmm, surprised it's going to waste time going for that. Let's get behind the pawn. Take that. What's going on here? Maybe draw. Maybe draw. Looks like it. Oh, maybe not. Actually, yes. Wow. That was a crazy one. I'm happy to get that draw with my bishop buried on h8. I mean, paradoxically, I don't think he should take the pawn on e7. You guys see when he did that move 34? So as it stands here, my bishop is walled in. I can never take e5, right? He's got that defended. But by taking the pawn, he actually gave me an out later on, bishop g7 to f8. But you know what? I missed a huge opportunity right before that. I saw it. It's one of those things you have this experience in chess. You sometimes see your resource right after you move. And right here, he played bishop f3. I could have played bishop takes e5. That would have been the key liberation resource. Because then after takes, I take his undefended bishop on f3. It's opposite color bishops. I'm right back in the game. Ooh, that was an interesting one. That was a fun game. Let's get back in there. Okay, I'm white. Trailing by three games. Um, how about this? So that if he plays this, he drops his rook. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay, if he's going c5. Let's do this. Mm, knight d3 seems fine. Attack this guy. I think we're both figuring out that we got to move faster in the opening at two plus two. This is a brutal time control. Hey, Alec. I'm going to try to get my bishop out this way. Ooh, can he maybe play some knight move, though? He might have had a knight discovery there. I'm not sure. Okay, let's take... And if he takes, I'm going to go here. Guard this. Now bishop f3 would be normal. Yeah, let's do it. Try to pin his knight. And now knight d5 or something else. Knight d5, maybe knight d4. Knight d2 looks okay, though. Reposition the knight. I'm thinking castling kingside would be best, but this bishop is just a bad piece for the moment. There's so many awkward rearr rearrangements of minor pieces that you have to go through in 960. I mean, the major pieces too, but the way your bishops and knights coordinate at the beginning of the game is just so critical. And, you know, I have this lame bishop on g1. That's going to stop my king and my rook from communicating for the time being. 
I think we're both hesitant to castle queenside here because the C file could be in play for both sides. So I don't expect that to happen. Oh, and just as I said that, he castles queenside. Okay. <laughs> Touche, hammer. Um, I want to solve the issue of this bishop, but I also want to attack. I'm looking at b4. Yeah, guys, I'm behind in this match. I got to go for it. b4. So taking advantage of this c-file situation, and I'm threatening b5. My knight on b1 helps to defend d2, so no worries there. But I'm probably going to be keeping my rook on the square. Okay, how about this? Oh, he has a check. But that check doesn't do much. So let's do it. Yeah, he's just going to try to get rid of the bishop. That's smart. Let's take. Probably should take again. Just trying to pry open lines here, leading towards this king. Uh, this square could be problematic. Yeah, definitely got to watch that. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get the knight into the game. If knight b4, I'm going to play knight e4. Take. Ah, knight b4. It's going to hit g2 as well. But okay, I can still play f3. f3 is still possible. There's a super noisy garbage truck outside of my town home here, by the way, if that's what you're hearing. Okay, mm, let's go here. Twenty-eight to twenty-seven. Let's push. I'm worried about the doubling, but I'm trying to get some counterplay here. This actually seems like a timely resource. You might have to get out of the way on the file. Okay, definitely take that. So he's just trying to blockade, huh? Okay, knight a4. Maybe knight e4 was better, I don't know. Oh, take, I really want to take that. Let's do it. I'm going to go knight here. Take. I'm almost ready to castle. He can play knight d3, though. Oh, he's stopping me. Evil. Let's go here. Hammer knows that I'm ready to castle. Get check. Give me something here. Give me something to work with. No, I'm definitely not castling anytime soon. Queen b3 maybe, though. Um, got, oh, I lost on time. Didn't realize I was that low. Oof. Yeah, that position was bad at the end, though. I never quite got my king to safety. I was going to play something like h4 or rook g1, but... Didn't notice my time. Brutal. Okay. I was shocked by a6. That's an interesting move. So after I take, and then here, he's just blockading the pawn, and I think his argument is that he's going to double up, and he says my king is on the chopping block, even though I'm temporarily up the pawn. Okay, rook takes b4 was probably just a bad move. But the initiative matters a lot in these games, so I was trying to seize back the initiative... Maybe, if I play this way, maybe I should just check. That was my original intention, check. But he can play knight c6. Oh, but this would be much better compared to the game. Yeah, this is 100% better. Now if knight c5, take, take, take. At least my queen is out and active. Here is a check, maybe. Yeah, this, this looks like a more promising version. Okay, next game.
eight and a half, four and a half. 1,600 viewers, wow. So again, if you're joining us, this is chess 960. It's normal chess rules, but as you can see, the back row pieces for both sides are scrambled. And they're scrambled in a mirror image way, so it is fair in that sense. But chess 960, one of the um, arguments for it over normal chess, which I also play, I'm an international master in normal chess, going for my grandmaster title. But one of the nice things is that there's no opening theory to worry about because people pretty much do not prepare openings in 960 since there's 960 possible starting positions with the pieces scrambled on the first and the back ranks. Whereas in traditional chess, there's a huge body of theory surrounding the openings. And if you want to become a top level player, you have to spend a significant portion of your study time memorizing opening lines. Um, some of these lines can stretch 30, 40 moves in some, some cases. Whereas 960, you just go and play. And I'm playing an extremely strong opponent, John Ludwig Hammer. He's Norway's number two. He's good friends with the chess world champion, Magnus Carlsen. Okay, C4. So he's trying to maybe follow up with D4 at some point. Uh, I want to get my bishop involved, but I, I notice he can go here. But you know what? I think I'm going to do that so that uh, maybe he can play b4, though. He played b3, fortunately, but b4 looked like it might have been better. Because I'm thinking I want this knight within striking distance of this outpost square. Okay, and he's going to open the position. Let's take that. And now I think I'm just going to castle. Yeah, a7's guarded. I can castle. And that's how you castle in chess 960. When you're playing online, you drop your king right on top of your rook, and it ends up in the normal castling position, uh, just like in normal chess. Okay, h4, he's launching some sort of king side initiative. This knight's a bad piece. Right now. <clears throat> I'm thinking about b6, but I don't know if I want to allow just h5. Let's go queen here. Ah, d7, did I leave that hanging? I can play rook d8, but did not notice that this was under attack. No, someone asked, do normal chess matches give you two minutes? This is, this is called bullet chess, this is very fast. In tournament chess, like one common time control is 90 minutes per side with 30 seconds added per move. And those games can take three or four hours sometimes. But yeah, we're playing an extremely fast version of chess. Bullet chess. Two minutes with a two-second increment is like, you know, you got to make these decision quick, decisions quickly. Alec Gorshkov donated $5. Said, John, play normal chess. Well, future streams, I definitely will. So no need to worry about that. I have a YouTube channel you can check out, which is linked below, where I play lots and lots of normal chess. Okay, knight d7. I'm trying to pivot, control these squares. Also, my bishop, you see how it started in the corner? I need to open it up at some stage and play b6, get it attacking this e4 pawn. Okay, he's, he's going to have time issues again. i got to capitalize on this. I know this is very late in the match, but it's possible I could still come back here. At least make it interesting. Hit the rook, defend e7. Try to get him on the run. Um, let's go knight here. And then swing this knight up. I'll play e5. Wants that d5 square. Can't blame him. So he's experiencing extreme time pressure at this stage. So that's why I'm moving fast, trying to keep the pressure on him. Let's go here. Bring this guy over. Hmm. Mm, I don't think I can say no to that pawn. Looks like I should be doing well here. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Bishop d3. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rook takes g2. That's a nasty move. And then check. 
I think that works. I'm going to do it. Wow. And his king just can't go to any good square. King h1? Yeah, that runs into... This runs into this. Okay, let's go gather that a pawn, or that h pawn, rather. Let's go here. My rook is laterally protecting this pawn. Mm, let's just put this here. Take that. Okay, so this should be a technical win. If I keep my wits about me. I've got plenty of time relative to him. He's going to try to do something with his pawns there, but yeah, this is pretty rough. Ah, and just said I need to keep my wits about me, and I blundered a pawn. Although, this is still pretty dangerous for him. I'm just going to shove this. And the h-pawn, yeah, that's tough for him to deal with. Because now I can go and attack. Yeah, he lost on time, but in that position, I was going to go and attack his uh, either his knight or his bishop. Yeah, I think he's just busted here, because my next move will be rook e1, attacking the knight and threatening to promote. If I can trade that h-pawn for his knight, then I'm going to be winning easily. I have a rook versus uh just he has one extra pawn on this wing, but it doesn't mean anything. Okay, guys. We're still gonna be able to fit in a couple more games here. But yeah, that was a fun one. Rook takes g2. I think that's the best move I've played all match. Involving all the discoveries. Okay, what to do here? Let's open the bishop. Take aim against the queen side. Oh, did someone donate? I apologize if I missed that. I'll check that uh, once we're done here, which will be pretty soon. Let's go f4. He instantly plays that. Okay. Let's get this out. I'm going to try to attack this pawn. If you're trying to improve in chess, by the way, like if your goal is just to get better, I would recommend playing games with at least 15 minutes per side. It, that's critical. You, you can't get better playing fast games like this. We're just doing this for entertainment purposes. It is fun playing bullet chess. Okay, again, I've got my bishops kind of gummed up. Um, okay. I'm gonna go here. Mostly just to pin that pawn. Maybe I can sneak in, like, a queen f2 type move. Let's go knight here. Maybe I can bring the other knight out to that square, and then jump into a5, and in a perfect world, win b7. Kind of a pipe dream, but could happen. Okay, a4 now. I like this to stop knight b5. Can you get better at chess, regular chess, by playing 960, asked Harlem. Yeah, you can. 960 is decent training for regular chess. Okay, let's take, go here. He'll probably play b6 to stop the knight from coming in. But I wouldn't make it your priority by any means. Playing 960 over regular chess if you're trying to get better. Okay, would castling queenside be appropriate now? He's ready for c5, so I don't know. Let's send the queen out here. Maybe I can get some sort of bishop e5, pressure on f5 going. My clock is a big problem right now, though, relative to his. Yeah, so I'm going to do this. And I'm hoping that I can make something happen here. I mean, he can't play knight f7. This knight is pinned for the moment. He'll probably move this rook. Yeah, he does. I think castling short would be appropriate here. Let's do that. Teleport to g1. This position isn't half bad, because he has big king problems here. I'm ready to take on e4. Yeah, this, this could actually be quite dangerous for him. I might even blast things open with c4, or a5. I got all these pawn breaks possible. 
If your opponent has a precarious king position, you want to try to open as many lines towards that king as possible so you can get your pieces involved. When I say open lines, usually that means pawn trades, trying to clear the way. Wow, he plays a5. I am just salivating over here. Let's get this knight to a better position, though. Because now I'm threatening to take on e4 because of this pin. Get him, John. Yeah, that's right. I'll do my best. Okay. Uh, C4. C4 looks so promising. I could also take H7, but I'm going to go for C4. Again, like trying to open lines towards this monarch. Mm, now I think take this way. He's going to take with his pawn. And then I'm going to play queen back to G2. At least I think he'll take with his pawn. He might not. He does. So I'm trying to crash through here, get my queen involved. <clears throat> He's got to bail with his king soon, like king c8. King there, wow. Oh man, can I do this? I don't know if that works. I'm going to go here. Knight takes e4 would be a sick move, but I, I don't think it works. Okay, let's take that. I want this knight here. Mm, okay, take. I want to land 95 real bad. This king has to be almost dead here. It's so open. Let's go here. Huh. Let's play this. Oh, knight f5, but takes. And I have queen c6 as a threat. Oh no, he can take that with check. Brutal, I did not notice that. What is happening here? He's going to bail. Now he's going to take d4. Okay, let's do that. Bishop d5, yup. Oh man, that's not good. If he can make that trade. Bishop here. Oh. Rook f1. My promising attack. It all fell apart. Gotta resign. That was looking so good. <laughs> Let's scroll back here. That's when it gets frustrating in chess, when you know you have a strong attack like that, and your opponent just wriggled free somehow. Okay, let me show you where I wanted to play knight takes e4. So he played king c6 right here. So I've got my queen and my bishop lined up on this battery. I really wanted to play this move. With the idea, so let's say he takes here with this beautiful sequence. And you see how those bishops just slice open his king. He can't go back to b7. c7 is taken away by this bishop. He'd have to play rook d5, which is just awful. I mean, I can take either way on d5 and I'm crushing here. But the thing I couldn't figure out at that moment is... So knight takes e4, um, if he plays rook takes e5 first. I saw this move in like the brief few seconds I had to calculate this, because now if takes and takes, this would be just ridiculous because he has the c7 square available. There's no bishop on e5 guarding that square anymore. So that's what, that was my dilemma. Um, this might be the last game or close to it. So... I don't think I can win the match anymore, but let's try to end on a positive note here. Yeah, thanks, Potzer to Master. I hope I'll be a Twitch partner soon, so if you guys want to support me, you'll have that option. You can donate right now, but yeah, I'd really appreciate any subs once I have that ability. Okay, E4. I'm going to take the center, too. 
go e5. Play for honor, that's right. You can always try to get better in chess, even if you have nothing to gain tournament-wise or in a match. It's all just one small step in the overall evolution, the overall journey of, of your chess career, right? So you should always take it seriously, even if this is uh, an online exhibition match. Okay, F3. <laughs> Gotta watch this, right, guys? I'm thinking about playing A6 to try to be sneaky, like so. I'm gonna do that, actually. Maybe he won't notice bishop a7. Just modest a6 move. Now he notices, though. He's going to play d4. But actually, that should be pretty good for me, right? Because d4, I can maybe go about attacking that pawn. Yeah, I'm just sniping away at his center here. If he has to play c3, that looks pretty ugly. So, okay, he plays that instead. I'm thinking some sort of knight move. Maybe f5 on the way. Hey, I'm ready for castling queenside, by the way. So that's pretty good, especially if I want to go for f5. It's nice to know. Because I think he might want to get his king out of the center soon. Hey, check then, mate. Yeah, alt cooling, that is pretty cool. Uh, getting on a featured broadcaster. I mean, obviously, I'm honored for that to happen. That's just, that's awesome. And one of the reasons for that is chess.com, the site that we're playing on, has been working very closely with Twitch. And Twitch has pledged to feature chess streamers on their front page, on their carousel. And which I think is awesome because for chess, for being such an ancient game, you know, chess has been around for like 1500 years. It's amazing to me how perfectly it, it molds with the internet. And um, I do chess full time and I want to see chess get more exposure. So that's very cool of Twitch to do that. Okay, h4. I want to break with f5, but I'm not ready to do that yet. I need to prep it. Maybe rook here. I mean, this makes it pretty obvious what I'm going for. You're kind of telegraphing your pass with a move like that because I wouldn't move my rook behind a closed file if I wasn't going to push the f-pawn. But lining up with this king seems smart. Okay, let's take this now. And now f5 I'm looking at. I'm just going to make sure I don't run into any issues with my king. No, I think it's okay. Let's do it. Plays e5. Yeah, he's trying to keep it closed up. Understandable. Let's go here. Maybe this move can bother him. Also pressure here. This is going to be another time scramble game. I know it. I mean, they all are practically. Yeah, chess is an ancient game, Kieran. And did you guys know, I've heard this quoted many times, and I think it's true. There are more books written about chess than all other games combined. Like That stat always just blows my mind. All other games combined. But chess has the has the edge there, historically. F4, I don't know about this move that I just made. He's trying to threaten A4. Let's go here. I need to give my knight a retreat square. Man. He's trying to use this square. That move I played looks ugly, but I think it's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Now he's trying to check here. I'm going to give up the exchange. Or attempt to give up the exchange. Okay. Mm Let's get this over. He didn't even take the exchange. Ooh. Opportunity. Take. Take. Opportunity knocking. Probably has to play bishop c5. I don't think he wants to play queen h2 here. Yeah. Let's get this over. He has a discovery. But no biggie. His king. His king is a problem. Queen b5 check is coming. Gotta get some pieces involved. 
I know he has that c6 move whenever he wants. Let's go here. Okay, this pawn could be a problem in the end game, not gonna lie. Um, but I gotta play for the initiative for now, 100%. Hmm. Let's check. Guard this pawn. Check. Yeah, and I won. Ooh. Yep. You see how big that king safety is? My king was on the run a bit when he was attacking with this bishop over here. He was threatening, like, bishop d6 stuff. But ultimately, his king being stuck in the center uh, led to his downfall. So sharp game. I think this idea of playing a6, immediately trying to take advantage of this open diagonal leading towards this queen, was, was pretty strong and maybe caught him a bit off guard. Because... After he was forced to play d4, well, not quite forced, he could block with his knight, but he needs to contest with this bishop's influence on this diagonal somehow. But after he did that, you see how I was able to bring my pieces out with the gain of time. That's always a great thing to do in the opening, if you can develop your pieces with tempo, meaning with the gain of time, attacking things. So knight e6, I already had two pieces out. We don't typically count pawns as pieces. When we say pieces, we mean everything but the pawns. So I got two pieces out with an attack here, and also the pawn was assisting. And I held the initiative for the first many moves of this game. Thanks, Eddie. Let me just talk to Hammer for a second. See what he, he has to say. Um, I'll ask him if he wants to do one more. This has been a fun match so far. Oh, are we going for three hours? Hammer, he replied, we said three hours, question mark. Hey, I'll go for three hours. You guys want to see another hour of 960? 100%, let's do that. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I was just under the impression we were playing for two hours, but hey, let's, let's keep going here. Here you go, Hammer, incoming. Well, that's good for my match chances. All right, um, ooh, 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 I gotta do this, guys. Can I do what Hammer did to me earlier? Pick off that pawn, that unsuspecting H-pawn. Ah, he saw it, he saw it. Yeah, maize and blue, I like that idea. Just keep extending the match by one hour if I'm still behind. <laughs> I like your style. How often do I stream? So I literally just started streaming on Twitch last week. Last Thursday was my first stream. But I do plan on streaming quite a bit in the future. Okay, he plays e5. Let's go e3, try to take away some squares from his knight. Also have my queen defend this pawn. This bishop, maybe I can sneak it into the action somehow like that. Or maybe g4 first, followed by knight g3. Yeah, Udai, I've been trying to promote chess as much as possible. Chess is a great game. Um, if you're interested in like the fundamental chess concepts, you're new to the game or have a passing interest in it, I would recommend, not to plug my own channel or anything, but you can check out my YouTube channel. There's many instructional videos on there. Um, I have one series called Chess Fundamentals, another series called Climbing the Rating Ladder where I play lower rated players and I talk about my thought process as I go. So that would be a good start. And as I said earlier, playing longer games is the key to improvement. At least 15 minutes per side. Okay, um, this bishop, what to do with that bishop? Again, it's an issue, but I'm just gonna get this knight out first. It's unhappy in the corner. <clears throat> F4. Oh, I'm glad to hear that improved strategy. Let's take with the queen. I know he's got this bishop lurking. 
Same diagonal as my queen, so if he plays c6, I gotta back it off, but I like the pressure that I garner against f5. And now maybe here. Eh, let's go back to f1. Still keep an attack here, but I was a little worried about knight g5 stuff. Okay. I'm going to try to retreat this so I can get the Dark Square Bishop involved. Maybe also free up for g4. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this. I feel like I'm wasting some time here with uh, the Dark Square Bishop, but it might be necessary. He's going to play d6. Okay, I'm going to castle queenside next. He does the same. Okay, so we have a normal-ish chess position now. Tempted to play d4, but just wondering if f4 does some damage. Let's bring this knight over. So again, I'm moving this knight to the e2 square. But I want to get this move going. Oh, awesome, Kieran. Oh, man. Getting low on time already. G3. Once you hear that rattlesnake sound, you know you got to move fast. Okay, let's bring this up. And go here. I need to get these pawns going, the G and the H pawns on the king side. Let's take that guy. Maybe E4, I'm thinking. He's being quite annoying, though. He knows that I want e4. Let's hold off on that. Don't like my queen being lined up there. So now I've finally broken the center. I'm going to take with the knight if he takes and try to attack d6. Okay, we get some trades. Yeah. Um... be solid. Still on d6. It's a sharp position. I'm not sure who's better here. I'm also threatening to take on c5 with the knight. Maybe. He has even g5 in that case, though. Really? Mr. Hammer. Okay. Oh, that's a big fork. <laughs> oh, I totally missed that. Oh, that, that, that's game ending. I can win that, but that's not going to work. That's a massive fork he just landed. Okay, I'll play on a few moves, but this is busted. This one's out of reach. I'll just resign. You miss one tactic, and there goes your entire game in chess. Chess is a hard game to fight back once you've already done the damage to your position. Okay, so this was the culmination of the action here. Knight takes d4, and I took here, but completely overlooked that he has knight e2 check, forking my king and my queen. So what do I have to play instead? Because you want to look for improvements. Um, I mean, I hate to give up my rook for the knight. Rook is worth five, knight is worth three on a point scale. That's just how you uh, assess their relative value. So that would be a concession, having to give up the rook. But I think I should have taken on d6 with the queen, then after king here, you know, I buy some time. Now knight e2 is not as big of a threat. Still pretty unclear position. Maybe I take here, knight e2 check, king over. And note that my knight is guarding c3. It's barely guarding, but it is. And he can't eliminate my knight because I made him on c8. So, hmm. Yeah, sharp stuff right there. That's how a lot of these games have been going.
coming right down to a single tactic or two. Oh, yeah, I got to check donations, guys. I'll try to pull that up. I haven't seen any notifications, but if someone's donated, that's fantastic. Okay, D4. Yeah, let's copy. <clears throat> I've been getting into a lot of these situations with the knight kind of stuck in the corner. Let's go here, like this knight. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this. If he takes with the queen, then I can develop this knight to b6. Hey, Dumpster Wizard. Thank you for checking out the stream. Yeah, I hope to see you in future streams as well. Knight b6. Remember what I was saying? Develop pieces with the gain of time as much as possible. Okay, queen there. I think g6 is a decent move. He is ready to expand, though. How about a6? Let's go for a6. Maybe I can prop this up. Yeah, now if he plays e4, bishop b5, and I'd be skewering his queen and his rook. Hmm. Let's go queen here. Hitting a2. Also making bishop b5 stronger if I get to play that. More pressure on e2. Yep, there you have it. The chess 960 rules. Same as normal chess, just with the pieces scrambled on the back row. Castling looks a little bit weird, especially. Okay, let's go ahead and attack his queen. Mm, I don't want a queen trade. I feel I have better chances keeping the queens on the board because I think my king's a little safer. So yeah, let's try to keep the queens on. Again, this bishop, though. I'm going to play g6. I can castle queen side. This pawn would be undefended if I did. But let's start with g6, just so in the future this bishop has some potential. Yeah, Nakamura and Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen, the world, championship, world champion, and Hikaru Nakamura, one of the best players in the world, are playing an unofficial chess 960 world championship. Because there isn't a governing body for chess 960, but those are the strongest guys in normal chess, and <laughs> obviously they're quite good at 960 as well. So they're going to be playing a match in Norway starting very soon. I think Carlsen will win it. I mean, just never bet against Magnus Carlsen. The guy's a beast. So Hammer's kicking me here. Mm. Okay, let's do this. I think he's maybe considering a queen into h6 sort of move. I can castle kingside or queenside. Maybe I should go kingside. Actually, I think I will go kingside. Originally, I was thinking queenside, but I like the look of kingside better. So yeah, let's do that. If he takes d7, I can take really any way, either knight or the queen. Mm hmm He's trying for some G4 business. Let's go here. Threatening this. Also threatening his rook. Ooh, that might be just a good move. Ooh, got him. Got him with the skewer. That was an unexpectedly good move, queen h3. I only played it because of bishop h6, but then I saw after the fact that I was hitting the rook as well. Double attack. My first chess coach told me the double attack is the key to chess. Because it makes perfect logical sense. You attack two things, your opponent can only respond with one move at a time. Chess is a turn-based game, so only one move at a time. Then, more often than not, something good is going to happen. You'll probably win one of those pieces. So yeah, queen h3 did the trick there. Hit the rook, it's undefended. One thing I talk about in that chess fundamentals series is how undefended pieces are 
the bane of chess players' existence, existences, and you want to get attuned, mentally attuned to always looking for undefended pieces in both your position and your opponent's position. Those are prime objects for attack. So yeah, hit the undefended rook, and also set up this pin on the queen. This queen can't move out of the attack of the bishop because the king behind it. Okay, so we take that game. Next one. All right, let's get this guy opened up. The light square bishop. You think Nakamura will win that match, huh? Yeah, I mean, hard to bet against Naka as well, but uh, I love me some Magnus. He's just been on a roll lately, and it seems like with innovative formats, new competitions, you know, you've seen Magnus come in and dominate Title Tuesday on chess.com. I mean, it seems like he's just extra motivated, even when it's not like a an official match, let's say. Okay, I'm going to go here and try to get both of these bishops fianchettoed on the long diagonals. And he's going to do the same. Plays f6. All right, let's get this knight involved. It's 10 and a half, 7 and a half, so I've managed to close the gap a little bit over the past hour, hour and a half. Yeah, the sides are mirrored, Darius. Okay, knight c7. So is he going for d5? He might be. Yeah, I think he is. I'm going to go h4. Just try to probe on the king side. And sure enough, he does go for d5. Let's take that. I don't know. Let's keep pushing here. See if I can create some opportunities with h6. Yeah, throughout this match, Hammer has just been playing more in the center than I have. And I guess the the match will will decide whose strategy is best. I'd like to play bishop e4 here, but well, maybe. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, that's with check. Hmm. Bad decision. That's with check. I thought I could take on b7 in between move, but... Uh, yeah, that, that coming with check kills it. Alright, well, I'm still going to play it out. In the vain hope that something t turns up here, but I think Hammer's going to take this one. Uh, I just let you guys down, I'm sorry. I let myself down. <laughs> Okay, let's castle queen side. Yeah, he's very solid here with this knight on e6. I do have a nice looking pawn diamond, but it's probably not going to amount to much. Alright, let's just throw stuff at him. We got to weaken his king. We got to create confusion. When you're down, you always got to go for the most confusing line possible. Try to make your opponent mess up. Because I'm not going to get back in this game just playing normal chess. You know, trade stuff down. Real, like, peaceable chess, let's say. The only way I have a chance is if I if I muddy the waters and confuse him. And even Grandmasters get confused. I mean, it's not out of the question. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> this is actually probably a pretty dubious decision, given that he can take. But regardless of whether you lose... Pretty or you lose ugly, it's still a zero at the end of the day. You don't get any points for it, so you might as well do whatever gives you the best chance of getting in the game. So you can just see I'm trying to just make a mess of things here. Mm, okay, let's go e5. Maybe I can sneak in like a queen e4 move. He might not notice that. He has many good moves here, though. Mm, Alright, 
just keep going with the most unclear looking move possible. You can check on d3 now. Okay, king here. You can take my knight, of course. And he takes on d5. I'm going to take here. I just didn't want him to capture on d5. This is pretty last ditch, but we'll see. Ah, that's a good check. Now he could even get the queens off if he wanted. Okay, yeah, that spells catastrophe. So just made an elementary blunder here by allowing knight takes e3 with check. I've noticed this a couple times recently when playing 960. I'm more likely to make blunders due to um, the weird position of the pieces at the beginning of the game. Because in a normal chess game, your king is not on f1 to start. So knight takes e3, if it happened, wouldn't be coming with check. That's going to that's gonna be my partial excuse for that move. <laughs> okay, next game. Yeah, so the option to lower the resolution, because I'm not a Twitch partner yet, you can't do that, Ahmed. But as I was saying, I hope to get Twitch partners soon, so that will be an option. I'm streaming in 720 just to give people the most opportunity to watch. John, I always feel like you put your ponies blocking your pawns. Yeah, my knights tend to be kind of messed up in this game. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. e4 breaks in the center okay let's take you let's get this knight out and now i want to get this knight doing something maybe even send it to d6 Yeah, let's do that. Try to make this bishop move again. So the match is 7.5 to 11.5. Still chances for both sides. E6. I don't know about this move, but I want to control d5. It does block my light square bishop temporarily, though. I'm going to try to put my queen here and castle on the queen side. Uh, maybe queen e7 is also decent. But let's stick to the original plan. I'm ready for the big switch, guys. The big switch. Okay, so now if he moves this knight, he might have to contend with queen takes b2. Okay, rookie one. I'm almost tempted to play knight b5. But let's stick the queen back here first, just to keep it out of the way of potential attacks. Maybe I can go for g5 as well. Also possible. Hmm. So he wants this e5 square. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. It's kind of an uncomfortable move for me. I'm going to play this. If he takes again, queen takes b2. But I think he's going to play 95. He does. Take it. Hmm. 
Gotta watch my king, but I'm gonna take. Let's take again. Let's go here now. So if he takes, I can take his queen. I wonder if he can take on a7. Probably can. He's gonna. Okay, so we're giving the a7 pawn. But hopefully I get some play for it. Maybe d4. It's going to blockade. Okay. Try to get something going here. Some possible checks in the air. Take that. Uh, I'm going to give a check. And I might play bishop d2. No? Okay. Let's reposition now. Thinking about this. What do I do about this dark square bishop, though? I think that's key. Also, I gotta watch the queen coming into f6. g4, he's gonna play. Okay. Yeah, queen coming into f6 is really awkward. Might have to trade, unfortunately. Kinda hate to do that, but. Looked almost forced. Okay, let's go here. Take that. Okay, mm go here. Hmm, might be so passive. <clears throat> Try to put the bishop on e7 or d8 maybe. So I'm down a pawn. I'm definitely struggling to draw here. It's still possible. I mean, I'm stopping him from playing d5 for the moment, so that's good. I feel like I should get some activity for that bishop, but I almost flagged there. Oh, now he's going to come around back to f8. Yeah, I think that's bad news for me. The fact that I almost flagged there was disturbing. <laughs> Look down, I had like 0.1 seconds. Yeah, this is over. Too many pawns. Okay, so that a7 pawn just proved to be costly when he captured it down there. Move 17. Yeah. Bishop takes a7. I thought I could maybe get some counterplay because for the moment he looks overextended slightly but i think in reality my pieces are not active enough to to land a decisive blow here Romelda fox knight b4 instead of queen g7 looked good instead of queen g7 uh you mean earlier so here on move 11. Mm, knight b4 yeah that's an interesting way of attacking because then I'd be threatening knight takes a2, knight takes a2, queen takes b2. Yep, that's a good point. Okay, next game with hammer. Okay, bishops in some prime fianchetto positions in this one. Let's be more aggressive. We'll play b4 this time. Okay, I'm going to go here, attack this pawn, encourage it to come forward. If it goes forward, maybe I go here and attack f7. How about this now? Or do I attack f7 right away? Could do that. 
Yeah, actually, let's play that. Caveman style attack, but looks interesting. Okay, now I'm going to go here. He'll probably play knight e6, just to cover that. Are all chess 960 opening positions roughly equal? No, they're not. Um, I saw something recently, like the, the best possible 960 position results in white scoring 64%, which is significant, but, you know, black is probably not losing by force there, at least uh, not yet. Okay, knight e6. Can take this pawn on h7, but that just looks a bit wrong. So I think I like this move. Watch out for knight g4, though. That would threaten knight takes f2. Just like I was trying to attack f7, he can try to attack f2. So on knight here, I have to swing my queen over to defend. Please castle. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I'll attempt to get to safety. That's an annoying move for me to deal with. I think I'm going to play e4. I want to block his bishop. And then maybe next g3. Thanks, Darius. I'm glad, I'm glad you like the stream, especially if you're not a regular chess player. Love to see um, new players getting involved. Okay, let's go g3 as planned. Just try to control some key points, like f4. Open the bishop, stabilize things. Okay, where are you going with that move? I don't know, but I think this looks logical. Maybe he's trying to rearrange this queen and bishop, create a queen bishop battery. I don't know. Sort of baiting me into playing b5, but I don't think I want to play b5 because it gives away the c5 square for his knight. I like my position here. And by the way, I can still take this pawn. Maybe I should. That move's been a long time coming, and maybe I should just bank it. And yeah, let's just take it. Okay, he's going for counterplay. I'm going to go here, just kind of eye the a7 pawn and the a6 square. 25 seconds, though. Time to speed up. And it is looking like I should castle very soon. His king is safer than mine is. Maybe knight g4. But knight g4 I can trade and play f3. Or even f3 directly. Hmm. Let's go here. Kind of opens my king, but I don't see how he punishes it. Can totally castle kingside too. Okay, now a4 is a threat. Mr. Hammer. A4, what are you going to do with your knights? Huh. Okay, take that. It's not blunder bishop a4. Oh man. Man, oh man. Okay. I don't know what to do. Just trying something. Queen trade would be good. Be really good for me. Let's close this down. Uh, let's take that. Try to attack A2. Somehow he's just always locking in my pieces. He's doing a very good job of that. Uh... 
trying to get something going here. All these pawns. I'll try a Hail Mary check, but it's not going to do anything. Oh man, these pawns are brutal. E2. Yeah, over. Hmm. That was a bad one to lose because I was winning a piece, but he made it complicated. I don't know. I feel like he missed a4 when the knight has no squares to go to, but after queen a6 and this trade, I mean, maybe I don't have to take the knight right away. Maybe that's one thing. But So the problem is he's threatening bishop a4, skewering my queen to my king, and I can't castle either way. Castling kingside is illegal because I would be passing through check to get over to the g1 square with my king. Also, if I castle queenside here like that, I lose a1 with check. So this put me in an awkward position. I feel like I almost have to do what I did, which is play knight c2. But undoubtedly, there's some issues with my king. Like then he jumped in here, and you know, my knight was kind of stranded on h7. Yeah, I don't know about that one. He probably had more compensation than I thought. All right, next game. He's opening up a gap again. I think I've lost the last three games or so. Hey, improved strategy. Glad you're back. I'm going to go here. Maybe try for something like that. Let's go here. This pawn is weak, though. Bear that in mind. Knight g5 would threaten. Knight takes f7. But I want to control this square. Yeah, he's trying to attack that. Okay, e6. This looks like a Sicilian. Any castles? Okay. Let's develop. So I'm thinking get this bishop here, develop the knight out, and go from there. Knight a3, that's interesting. So he can maybe do this. Yeah, probably a good move. Hmm. Okay. He can now push his, his pawn, probably to b4. So I'm thinking b4, I play f6, he takes on c5, I take with the bishop. It's too bad I have to lock in my queen like that, though. That doesn't look optically very strong. Hmm, knight e5, maybe? Or take first? Probably I should take first. He'll take with his knight, I think. Okay, now I'm going to try to get my bishop going somehow. The one thing I have going for me here is his queen is pretty bad on h1. I mean, he might even want to move a pawn to try to get it to h2 eventually. But also my queen isn't looking great on h8 either. Yeah, and Mubot just put out a message about the fan club on chess.com. Please join that, especially if you're, uh, you think you'll be a regular viewer of my channel, because we can challenge other clubs and do our own tournaments that way. So I'd really like to do that with you guys. Hmm. Yeah, this is a precarious position. And I don't have a lot of time. Let's do this. We try to do this. Uh, get the knight back and blockade. We go here or here. Let's go here. I feel like he's somehow taking aim against b6, but I don't know exactly how. There you go.
Okay, I feel like my position has got better over the past few moves. So that's a good sign. Let's take that. E5. Just kick that knight out. Get it out of there. Probably he'll go knight a3. Let's keep pushing. Mm, jump in. Try to open this bishop. Okay, e5. Try to attack his knight. Okay, that helped a bit. Let's connect our rooks now. Get this involved. I'm just going to go here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take. Take there. I don't know. I'm not sure about that decision I made. Ah, bishop here. There's a definite uh, bishop h5 idea now. Okay. He's got a big attack against my open king, and I'm down a pawn. Got to keep his queen out. Keep it out. Try to play for f5. Uh, is this maybe? Maybe? A king takes d6 in that case. He's doing a good job of keeping me under pressure. He's being very annoying about that. Let's check. Check again. Mm, I think I should take the draw here. Mm, no, let's go for it. I'm behind in this match. I gotta try something. Ooh, I won on time. He didn't know how to respond there. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't take that draw. I just saw that f2 was weak, and his queen was looking a little overloaded trying to guard the bishop. So, yeah, I seized this opportunity. And also, like, temporarily, his rook is not so great on b5. I know we can give a check here, but I back off. Okay, that's a big one to stop his streak of winning games. Yeah, your dongers, the link to the uh, club can be given by maybe Chess Bay. She might be able to do that for you. But if you search John Bartholomew Fan Club on chess.com, you'll find it. All right, critical, critical game. Let's get the rematch going. That's what can happen in those opposite colored bishop positions. It tends to be the case that the side that's attacking has the better chances in the opposite color bishop position. And the initiative was swinging. First in his favor there, clearly, against my king. He was up a pawn. It looked like he was pressuring me. But in my favor, right at the end, he just didn't know how to deal with this attack here. And he can play f3, but check. And maybe I can do something there. Chess is now hosting my stream with 760 viewers. Oh, thank you, chess.com. Yeah, thanks to everyone tuning in from the chess.com, chess.tv room. Will we get membership cards for the fan club? Uh, not as of yet, Oyvind, but maybe. Maybe if it gets big enough. <laughs> okay, I sent 
I sent Hammer the rematch. Maybe he's taking a break or something. And maybe I can use this opportunity to um, look at the donations, if there has been any donations. So I know I've been slacking on that. I think I got them all. The last one that it shows me is Alec Gorshkov about an hour ago. Oh, and also Chess Bay. I think I might have missed that from Chess Bay. $20. Excellent match. We need more of this on Twitch. 100% agree. Uh, let me ask John Ludwig what he's what he's up to. Guess we still got about 15 minutes left. Crushed his spirits, sulking. He's way up in the match. He's leading 13 and a half, 8 and a half. He should be he should be pretty happy. Okay. I'm just never playing in the center, so I'm going to try to change that e4. I'm letting him encroach on the center, and I think I need to try to reverse that trend. Let's get a knight out. h2 is protected. Watch those long range moves. h2 is guarded. Attack that pawn. f4 gains some space. I'm going to play just d3, consolidate a little bit. I wonder if he'll go for f5. Might consider it. Hmm. I'm going to play bishop f2 and castle kingside, or try to castle kingside. That's right, Agent JL Chess. Bartholomew is streaming. 100%. Oh, cool. Thanks, Improved Strategy. Thanks for joining the club. Okay, and Oyvind donated $10. We need more John on Twitch. And we also need more of John in Norway. I censored you are coming back. <laughs> I don't know what you said there, but yeah. So I was in Norway in October. Going to Norway to play chess is just awesome especially in view of Magnus Carlsen. Like, they really take it seriously over there. The conditions are very nice at the tournaments. So I played two tournaments over there, and I can't wait to return. I might go back next year for um, the Oslo Chess Festival. And Oyvind, if it's the Oyvind I'm thinking of, you were the guy who filmed my masterclass while I was there, correct? Good to see you in the chat. Wow, and Hammer's going to sack this piece. I mean, I got to take that, obviously. That seems like a drastic decision. And I can even play g3 here and try to attack this rook. I'm pretty shocked that he decided to do that. Okay, so now I'm on the verge of going up an entire rook. But I'll have to deal with some counterplay. I think... Hmm... Yeah, I think best to go here first. I mean, rook for a couple pawns, let's say. He must not have liked moving his knight there. Maybe he saw something I wasn't seeing after e5, but he decided to be gung-ho about it. Okay. Yeah, he's just saying take this rook. But again, I don't have to take the rook yet. Maybe d4 first. Even a4 comes to mind. Hmm. Let's go d4 first. <clears throat> I'm going to move this knight, I think. Yeah, I just flat out might not take that rook. That's what I'm thinking here. Let's play c3. And 
he gets out of that. So now I'm just going to castle. Castle this way. Seems better than trying to castle queenside because he is throwing all his pawns over here at me. Guard the knight. Get this rook ready to come over. Let's try to attack down the e-file quite simply. Mm, let's go here. Some knight d5 business. And he's ready to land his knight on e4. I think he's really looking to do that. If I take, he was going to trap my rook, is what he was planning there. Let's go after this pawn. Gotta hurry. Oh, knight d2. Brutal. Okay, I still have the initiative, though. I need to go after his A pawn, I think. Uh, let's go here, though, first. Hmm, maybe push this. Let's create some mayhem in the center. Not sure what's happening, but I'm trying to get through. Let's take that. He has to take with his king. He does. Trying to land some stuff here. He needs to use his A pawn if he wants any chance. But now I win this. That helps. Some big help. Let's take. Get the knight in. Knight into e6, try to do some damage. Not much he can do here. Yeah, and that's decisive. King King F7, I had knight g5 check with the fork. Okay, so I take that one. Let's take a look at that decision. Where he made that decision to sack the piece for two pawns. So it was right here, after f5 and then e5. I was attacking this knight, and for some reason he just didn't want to move that knight away. I mean, knight f7 looks normal here. So he either thought that the piece sack was more promising than it was, or he, I don't know. Just didn't want to move the knight for some reason. So I'm happy to take that one. Thanks, Agent JL. John, after the game, can you explain why you didn't take the rook? Well, if I take the rook, so let's say right around here, d4. I mean, I think this is a move a computer would probably like because I am winning material by playing this way. But I was worried about my light squares. You can see if I castle kingside, let's say, he's got this slicing diagonal. If he could ever coordinate um, his queen and his bishop down that diagonal, I have problems. So the short answer is I felt the relative value of my bishop was higher than his rook, which really wasn't doing anything. And I was already up a bit of material at that point, having won the piece for two pawns. So I didn't want to get too greedy and give him the initiative in the process. Here's the next game. It's 13 and a half, nine and a half, hammer leading. E4. Okay, E5. We'll play symmetric. Mm-hmm. And he's going with the squeeze strategy again. All right, let's do this. Open the bishop. This is undefended now. So let's develop. And now maybe it's a case of who can jump into this square first. So that's kind of nice if I can get in there. 
Also, ooh, I should have looked at maybe this idea. And Hammer wants to open the center. As usual, playing in the middle of the board. Okay. Hmm. I really want to play this move. Pawn might be poisoned, though. Nah, I'm just going to take. See how he recaptures. So if knight f6, e5 here, he can castle. He can castle queenside. And I think I have problems there. So maybe I should play queen f6 right now. That looks reasonable. If he takes, yeah, he can give me double isolated f pawns, but I do get his bishops in the process. I might be good on the dark squares. Hey, Fabio. Fabio from Roma, Italy. This is a really normal position, says your dongers. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe now I'll play e5? No. Okay. Let's play here. And Staffamu donated $5. Thank you, Staffamu. He says, more chess, please. Yeah, you're in the right spot. We love the chess here. <laughs> okay, g3. So this knight is never getting into the game anytime soon, at least. I can't take, because at the end I have trouble. So kingside or queenside? Probably queenside. Because I want to keep d7 protected. And threaten this move. Hmm. All right. Let's start maneuvering with this knight. I've got some weaknesses, like F5, uh, d5, rather. But his knights are a long ways away from being able to occupy those, those squares. Mm, I'm going to pivot here with the knight. Just a little worried about f4 coming with tempo. I'd really like to break open the position using a pawn right now, but that's not easy. Don't see too many opportunities to do that. It'd be really nice to play d5 right now. Yeah, I just don't think it works. So I'd have to give up two pieces to do that. Um... I'm going to go here, uh, drop this pawn, and just take g7. Although, then I play f6. Maybe I'm baiting him into taking the pawn. <laughs> Let's go with that. But I'm trying to get this, since d5 didn't appear to work. Time scramble ahead on move 12 already. I'm already in time pressure. He's taking his time. I like to see this. F5. Yeah, let's go. I know he can take here, but I'm going to get through. Hmm, Hammer. He's playing it so conservative. Okay, got to get that knight back in the game. Keep in mind, I... I might be able to get this pawn if this knight ever moves. Hmm. Let's go here. Need that bishop protected in a lot of cases. Okay, knight here seems obvious and good. F3 is weak. Let's do that. Maybe I can win the H pawn? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. See what happens. Let's bring the rook in, be aggressive. K4. 
Okay, so I'm up a pawn. It's not the easiest pawn in the world to maintain. I actually kind of want to give this away so I can gain some counterplay. Threatening bishop takes f4. Try it. It's a nice little shot. Okay. Now we resolve to an equal endgame after all that excitement. All that excitement, equal endgame. Unless I can snipe this pawn. Hmm, check. Then take c4 next move. Hmm, is Hammer gonna give me a chance here? He messed that up, definitely. Okay, let's push this. Push this. This is quite tricky. Okay, now my king comes up though. King coming up looks like it should be good. Push that. Hide the king. Let's go here. Mm, he might have been better off checking on b4 there. Because now I think I win. He runs out of checks and then we promote. Wow. To quote Danny Wrench. We was talking about Sean Nagel in the Pro Chess League this past week. I totally finagled to win there. Yeah. He just let me win two of his queenside pawns. I mean, maybe one of them is dropping. But, like here, for instance, knight e3, I mean, I think he just straight up overlooked rook d4 check. He should play probably just king d3. And actually, my knight is in a precarious spot. I was hoping he wouldn't play that move. I might even have to bail out immediately with knight b5. So if this happens, I can do that. But I shouldn't be able to win this. With just one extra pawn, my king is not in a good position. This is a draw. Okay, so we win that game. What does that bring the match score to? 13 and a half, 10 and a half? So made a bit of a charge at the end, but not enough. Hammer was, he showed his better understanding of chess, his better grasp of chess 960 elements. Let me see if we're gonna play one more game or if he wants to call it quits here. Thanks, Primetime. Yeah, thanks, Chess Bay. It wasn't too bad. It was Dece. <laughs> I said one more and Hammer just said no. <laughs> okay, I think he's like, you know those Norwegians like very much on the clock? I think he wants to just end it right here. He just said two letters, N-O. <laughs> So I'll just tell him thanks for the match. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, definitely some of those early games, those proved to be critical. I mean, just no excuses. He outplayed me in this match. Um, there was the one, the one game where I messed up the castling thing and also the pre-move thing, but I mean, that has such a little effect on a three-hour long match. So he got the better of me today, but a lot of games are really interesting. I think for me, the move, the highlight move was that rook takes g2 move, where I got knight f3 check in after that, and all the tactics just worked out for me, and I ended up winning the exchange plus a couple pawns. That was a nice move that sticks out in my head. Yeah, I think these games were unrated. So you can see my chess 960 rating is pretty high. I got that rating because I did decently well in the chess 960 championship on chess.com. I won my first four or five games, and... I didn't have a chess 960 prior to that and just boosted it all the way up. Oivan says, we are famous for being at least 10, 5 to 10 minutes late. Oh, really? 
because Norwegians I've met have generally been on time, but maybe that's not the stereotype. Chessy Bus says solid 2571 performance rating there. Ah, so if you're calculating with FIDE, that's good to know. That's actually consistent with some of the tournament performances I've had recently, so I will I will take that. And Chess Bay is linking to the match between Carlson and Naka. Yeah, you should definitely check that out if you like 960. Thanks to the Jesus Zilla. All right. Yeah, that was a blast. And it looks like we've got over 400 viewers right now. Thanks to each and every one who, each and every one of you who tuned into the stream and supported me with a follow or a donation. Really appreciate it. I'll put this up on YouTube as well, but this should be auto archived here on Twitch. So if you missed any portion of the match, you can go watch it. And I'll be back again soon with another stream, guys. Again, I'm going to make Twitch streaming a regular thing, provided I'm home and not away playing a tournament, which is going to happen a lot coming up in the next couple months, by the way. But until then, I'll be getting in more streams. Oh, I missed a donation? Eric, always telling me I missed a donation. Ah, it was Saxy. Saxy90 donated $10. Says, I am Bartha Nana GM. Thank you. Thanks, Saxy90. Okay, I'm going to call it a stream, guys. Thanks a lot again. And um, make sure you follow me. More streams on the way. All right, have a good week, guys. Bye.